Grabe guys, ito yung pinaka-requested na coffee machine review sa channel namin. The Gemini 3605. Around mga 5 comments yun eh, or mga 6. Sobrang dami. Grabe. <laughs> Pero bago niyan, we would like to thank C District Coffee Essentials and Equipment for lending this machine to us. They are the largest distributor ng Gemelay products here in the Philippines. So we'll also link them down below. So yung Gemelay 3605 is worth 10,000 pesos. And yung inclusion niya, of course, is yung espresso machine. You have yung water tank right in the back. Kasama rin tong porta filter. This one is made out of aluminum. And then yung double shot na basket. Tapos meron ka din kasama na blind basket para pag mag-clean up ka ng machine and then lastly yung brush for the group head if maglilinis ka din. Let's start muna with the looks. In terms of the overall design, I'd say it's it's okay. Nothing really fancy, very straightforward even the interface itself. Tapos very small din yung counter space na ma-occupy niya in your coffee bar or coffee nook. Very light din. This one weighs 15 pounds or around 8 kilograms and super gaang lang niya. A lot of the parts are actually plastic. So hindi naman masyadong halata because of the color, but it's it's mostly built out of plastic. Even ito, feeling ko plastic din to, outside from the aluminum na case. And kahit hindi 10 out of 10 in terms of the overall looks for me, bumawi naman siya sa performance. And later on, we'll explain that in detail. Pero for now, let's start muna with the interface of the machine. Very simple lang siya. You have the power button, you also have yung single cup button, tapos yung pressure gauge right in the middle, and yung timer. Which I really appreciate out of all of the features that we have here. Kasi kahit yung Breville Barista Express, walang timer. Meron ka din another button for your hot water. So very helpful if let's say, gagawa ka ng Americano. And then lastly would be your button for the steam wand. Of course, meron siyang rubber para hindi tayo mapaso. But what I really appreciate about it is the fact na madali mo siyang i-adjust depending on your preference. So it can easily accommodate as well kung 300ml or 600ml yung pitcher na gamit mo. So very good enough. For, for that purpose. And then, if magpa-purge ka din, sakto siya sa drip tray. So, very minimal yung matatapon na water. Now, talking about the drip tray, ito naman, mabilis siya mapuno, wala rin bobber. And, if mapapansin nyo yung design ng metal niya, straight lang. So, yung ibang design, mostly pababa eh. It means na yung water dun mapupunta pababa instead of sa gilid. So, ito, may chance na mapunta sa gilid and at least from my experience using it, Uh, matatapon pa side because of the design ng metal ng drip tray dito. So ito naman, pag gising mo sa umaga, it will only take 10 minutes to warm the whole machine up. So just press the power button, leave it for 10 minutes, and you're good to brew your cup of coffee. So game, most exciting part, time to brew naman yung coffee natin. So lock na natin to. And then yung beans na gagamitin natin is from Checkered, Benguet Arabica. So meron tayong taste notes of granola, Toffee and Muscovado. So nakalagay na siya dito sa grinder natin. And let's go. Let's do it. So before ka mag-grind ng beans, ako ay highly recommend na i-warm up mo rin even yung portafilter. You want this to be as hot as possible para uminit din yung portafilter mo. Yan. And then habang hinihintay natin siya, quick commercial break. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na ayaw ko dun sa drip tray. So if you'd notice, may chance na talaga na maglilik yan dun sa surrounding areas niya. And mataas din yung pag-spill ng water. So kailangan nakaredy ka din with your basahan. Then if you'd notice, wala pang pressure during the first 3 to 4 seconds. Yun yung version nila ng pre-infusion. Then after nyan, we should be hitting around 9 to 10 bars. So quick taste test naman tayo. Ito na yung output natin. Last. Last na lang. So for me, okay talaga yung output. Personally, kasi na, nakapag-try din ako sa Breville Barista Express and very close naman yung shot quality between the two. Yung sweetness nandun, yung acidity tama lang. And I think yung appreciate ko dito is yung mouthfeel. Uh, very full. So para kang umiinom ng full cream milk. So na-appreciate ko yun. 
very close. So I think hindi mo ba distinguish if magba blind test taste test ka between yung Breville Barista Express saka et- etong machine na to. So overall, I think it's a good machine, especially if hindi mo naman kailangan lahat ng bells and whistles na kasama sa Breville Barista Express and ang focus mo lang is yung quality ng shot. Then this this could be a good alternative. So yung next step naman natin is mag steam ng milk. So ang kailangan mo lang gawin is pindutin yung button for the steaming option and wait na magkaroon ng 00 na number right in the middle. So guys, hindi kasi kami nabigyan ng manual. Nung unang try ko, ang ginawa ko is nag-automatic lang ako na nag-steam without pressing the button. And ang mangyayari, if ganun yung gawin mo, maglalabas siya na maglalabas ng water. So nasayang yung milk ko. Mga dalawang beses, tatlong beses nangyari sa akin yun. So tinutulungan na namin kayo eh. Wala kayong manual. Make sure to press this button. Wait na mag-00 siya before starting to steam. And then makikita mo yung timer nag activate then. For beginners, is yung fact na hindi ganun kalakas yung steam 1 niya. And normally it will take you around 60 to 70 seconds before mo ma-fully heat up yung milk. So after mo mag-steam, make sure lang napupunasan mo. Of course, lagi may matitid ang milk dyan. Make sure nahabol natin. Anak ng toklay. Palpak! Palpak! I'm so sorry, guys. Siyempre, masarap. Gawa ko, eh. Hindi <laughs> masarap? Masarap, ah. Palpak lang yung art, guys. But under normal days, pag wala sa camera, nagagawa ko naman, eh. <laughs> So guys, hindi ko kasi matanggap eh, kanina. Na hindi kami nakapag-latte art ng kahit konti. So ito, konting justice lang dun sa machine. Kaya naman guys eh. Yan, medyo na pressure lang sa camera. <laughs> Sobrang sarap. <laughs> Siyempre gawa ko eh, kaya masarap. So ngayon naman, pag-usapan naman natin yung three things that I really appreciate about this machine. Number one is right in the middle, yung timer niya. So I remember before, pag gamit ko yung Breville Barista Express, uh, meron pa akong hiwalay na weighing scale with timer. But with this machine, nandun na yung time component. So at least you know already if ano yung shot timer mo or extraction period mo. Then after that, of course, related then right in the middle is yung pressure gauge. So meron namang ganito yung Breville Barista Express. But dito sa machine na to, makikita mo yung pressure and makikita mo rin yung time. So very helpful yon in terms of diagnosing if okay ba yung shot mo. Of course, if yung pressure mo is so low, then you already know that you will need to grind a bit finer. Pag yung pressure mo naman is so high or wala masyadong lumalabas after a few seconds, then alam mo naman na you need to grind coarser. So very helpful yung dalawang components na yon. And I think most importantly, yung last ko naman, is yung fact na it can produce good espresso. So I've shared earlier na medyo comparable naman with the Breville Barista Express yung output, at least from my experience. I think yung very important lang din to note is, I know this is worth 10,000 pesos, but it needs to be paired with a very good grinder. So I think non-negotiable yun. So if magbabudget ka ng 10,000 pesos, you need to add budget for a very good grinder to make this work. And yung last question naman natin is, am I going to recommend this sa friends ko? Yung quick answer ko doon is yes, especially if nagsa-start ka pa lang sa espresso journey mo and you want to learn the basics. This is a good entry-level machine. Skip nyo na yung 4,000 to 5,000 pesos na machine and go with this instead. Yung heads up ko lang is that you will need to pair this with a very good grinder. Skip nyo na rin yung mga 2,000 pesos na grinder and go with a espresso capable na grinder. You can go manual like yung GX Pro, meron tayo dyan, or Minion Manual that would allow you to extract good espresso output out of the machine. And then, yung na-appreciate ko then here is coming from what the team from C District Coffee Essential have shared, yung warranty nila is three months and then meron din silang one year na service warranty for the parts. So that's very helpful. Alam mong wala kang headache in the future and they're one of the largest distributors ng Gemilay here in the Philippines. 
you can check their Facebook, makikita nyo lahat ng positive reviews about them. So, well, minus one na yun sa headaches nyo, given na may warranty period of one year. And that's it! Yun na yung review namin ng Gemini 3605. So, meron ba kaming na-miss? Meron ba kaming mga features here na hindi namin na-highlight? Let us know through the comment section down below. And then, watch out as well. Magre-review din kami ng Gemini na 3200. This time for commercial purposes naman. So, let us know if any thoughts nyo around that. And see you on our next video.